But what happened, when I went, I'm going to tell you before I go, well, because what happened when I went to school, I sat beside Pemberthy and the teacher said, I want you to think very hard now and concentrate and think very hard and concentrate and think very hard and concentrate and make up a poem ending in Timbuktu. Christ, that wasn't easy, was it? A girl said, please, miss, I can end a poem in Timbuktu. Very good, Samantha, tell the class. She said, I was walking on the sand and I saw a ship not far from land. It had a very handsome crew, its destination, Timbuktu. Bloody good, wasn't it? Bloody good. She come from a very snobbish family, mind you. They used to get out the bath to pee and all that sort of thing. <laughs> And, and they used to keep fruit on the sideboard when there's nobody sick and all that <laughs> shit. But nevertheless, that was a bloody good poem. And then the teacher said, Denzel, have you got your hand up? He said, oh, yes. I said, put your hand down, you prick. <laughs> she said, Denzel, is your poem ending in Timbuktu? He said, oh, yes. She said, oh, are you sure? Yes, he said, certain sure. I said, excuse me, with the interrupting, but I don't think this is a very good idea. <laughs> she said, you sit down, fuck ups. Stand up, Denzel. Well, I'm sitting beside the twat, now I am. She said, Denzel, ending in Timbuktu, are you sure? Oh, yes, he said, don't let it worry you. She said, I won't. I thought, well, I guess I will. will. <laughs> Denzel, she said, go you ahead. He said, Tim and me went down to Kent. Christ. <laughs> and we found three women in a tent. Well, he said, we couldn't think of much to do, so I bought one in block two. <laughs> but my mate, I got a collar boy, he's a friend of mine, he's my mate and he's a collar boy and he's a friend of mine, he works for Kelly's Ice Cream, stirring up the ice cream, that's his job. He, he don't work any better, but he's easier to find when he fall in. <laughs> but he, he was walking down through Wade Bridge. Well, as you know, Wade Bridge is about six miles the other side of Bodmin, and there'd been a big fire, and one of the firemen's helmets had dropped in the street, and give the boy credit, he put the helmet on his head and he carried it up to the fireman. They won that bloody nice. And the black face and the fireman's helmet, he did look bloody smart. And when he got up top, one of the Wadebridge firemen said, my word, he said, you're a colored boy. He said, where are you from? Well, he said, I'm from the West Indies, you know. Well, he said, that's bloody fantastic. He said, Bodman, I'm got here yet. <laughs> But here's a story now that I'm absolutely fed up telling. I've told this story for 17 years and I'm fed up to the... It gets on my bloody tribe. But it's never been recorded, so we'll do it tonight. You remember, do you? Yeah, I bet your teeth are glad when you're sleeping on them. I always think it's a shame when cousins marry like that. <laughs> but I would... <laughs> Excuse me, but piss off, go on, piss off, go on, piss off. It's Jehovah's Witnesses.
Anyway, I've been to see my bank manager today. I said, good morning. I've come about opening a joint account. He said, who with? I said, you, ya basser. <laughs> But I've, my wife, I was married once and I gotta say my wife was probably the finest housekeeper the West Country of England had ever seen. She kept my house and all the pieces of furniture. <laughs> and the bloody car. And I had to go to court in Bodmin and they listened to all my financial affairs and the judge said, Jeffro, I'm gonna give your wife 100 pounds a week. And, and I said, and I said, and I'm, and I'm going to try and give her a pound or two myself if I can. <laughs> and then come the next case, a man from Camborne had up for shagging a goat. A man from Camborne. A man from Camborne, he would, he would find 500 pounds for shagging a goat. And the man from the Druze, he finds 500 pounds for acting a goat. <laughs> but I went into Pizzazz Station and I said to the girl, I said, good morning. I said, how long will it take this train to get to Camborne? She said, just a second. I said, thank you very much. And, and I got on the, in the carriage and there's a woman sitting right opposite me with a miniskirt and no knickers. Well, you don't know where to look, do you? <laughs> I said, well, it's going to be a rough summer. The rooks are nesting upside down. <laughs> Well, it was embarrassing for me because I had my tight trousers on. <laughs> she said, is that, a, is that an erection you've got there, young man? I said, don't you think you're turning me on with that fur burger? <laughs> and I said, I'll let you know, I've lived far too close to the woods to be frightened by a hedgehog. She said, what is that lump in your trousers? Well, I had to make up something bloody quick, I did. I said, well, if you must know, I said, it's payday today and I've had my wages, a little bit of bonus. And I said, that's my wages, you can see. Well, she said, you've got a very good boss. You've had two rises since I've been watching. <laughs> And then the guard come on, he's, he is the biggest black man I've ever seen. He, he is, I never see, he must have gone sleep in the prison greenhouse, actually. <laughs> and I said, how long before we get to Camborne? Camborne, he said, it'll be about 10 minutes. I said, that'll be fantastic, won't it? He said, have you got to get off of Camborne? Oh yes, I said, I got to see a man called Slip Along Travascus. At Camborne on the stage, but he said it's Wednesday. Did you realize that it's Wednesday? Did you realize that it's Wednesday? And he said, We don't stop Camborne Wednesday. I said, Well, you've got to stop because I've got to get off. But he said, We don't stop Camborne Wednesdays. And he said, We never have stopped Camborne Wednesdays. And he said, I don't think we ever will stop Camborne Wednesdays because we never have. We never have stopped Campbell Wedges. But I said, I've got to get off. But he said, we don't stop. I said, I think I heard you mention that earlier, you know. He said, you'll have to go to Truro and walk back. I said, I can't do that. He said, well, he said, we don't stop Campbell Wednesdays. And he said, I said, well, if you won't stop, you bastard. I said, I'll pull the cord. Hell, he said, don't pull the cord. You'll have to pay a fine and fill in forms. He said, it's a hell of a job. He said, have you got to get off? Yes, I said, I've got to get off, you prick. <laughs> well, he said, I can assure you that we don't stop Campbell Wednesdays, but I will have a word with the driver. 
and see if I can get the driver to slow up going through Camborne if you got to get off. I said, I got to get off. But he said, we don't stop. I said, well, he come back, he said, the driver told me to tell you that they don't stop Campbell Wednesday. <laughs> but he will slow up. I said, well, I said, what am I going to do? He said, well, I'll hang you out the window with one arm and you start to run in midair. When I think you're running at the right speed, I shall drop you. Christ. We come in the camera and the bastard never slowed up at all. <laughs> he was splendid flying. He must have been a hundred mile an hour. Chicka -de -chicka -de -chicka -de bled a flying. And this great old black bugger hanged me out the window. He said, right old fat guts, pick your feet up, lad. I bled a flying. He said, faster, faster. I put my money, it all fell out of my pockets. I bled a flying. He said, faster. And when he dropped me, Christ, I went up the platform like a cut cat. I said, the next problem is, is the platform going to be long enough for me to stop? And the carriages was going by me. I thought, well, they don't stop Campbell Wednesdays, but I don't give a bugger because I'm on the platform anyway. The fact I'm still doing 75 miles an hour, it's nothing to do with it. And you know, the next carriage come on, a man put his arm out the door and dragged me in. <laughs> Jeffrey, we said you're lucky to catch this train. <laughs> he said he don't stop Campbell Wesley's <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, good night, God bless. <laughs>